guys, there is a new alien mummy being studied right now, and we've got to talk about it. So get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like, please subscribe, share on social media, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, let's just get right to it. Here's a, it's a uh, over 10 minute long video, so I'm just going to play some highlights from it. Uh, but let's take a listen. This is really, really interesting. Uh, the mummy is called a Carta, and he or she, I guess, uh, is, uh, has not been seen uh, uh, before by the public. So this is the world premiere of Edgarda. There's some music playing over uh, part of the video, so I can't show uh, that part. But uh, the lady uh, who's narrating this says that a lot of these mummies are actually acquired by tomb raiders and they go to the highest bidder and they uh, generally find their way into the hands of collectors. I'm not sure how they got their hands on this uh, particular specimen or if they had to uh, pay for it or if it was donated in some way. Um, uh, she hasn't yet provided any details on that, I don't believe. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's uh, give a listen. The mummy Edgarda is indeed special. The head is tilted slightly and depending on the angle, it looks as if the creature suffered before its death. Of course, I'm not the only one who would like to know what caused the death of the tridactyls and whether they all died around the same time. Well, of course, if they were once in fact living, breathing beings. The mummy is approximately 60 centimeters long and has a typical three-fingered hands and the three-toed feet. The abdominal area is elevated, so it can be assumed that Edgarda also has eggs in her body. What we will be particularly interested in today are the three implants on the chest and in the right shoulder area. The sampling took much longer than this video suggests. We were busy for hours, including the subsequent evaluation of the data we received. The size of the sample has been determined beforehand. Then the fine sawing work begins. After the sample can finally be carefully removed, it is placed in the sterile transport container, which is sealed and labeled accordingly. But you will notice that the thing has its own charm. On the one hand, due to its size which corresponds approximately to human dimensions and looks like a part of the mummy Maria. And on the other hand, because we will be able to see the bone structures clearly because of some x-rays and also compare them. So this is the forearm in all its glory and it looks like it was intentionally severed to mummify it separately as diatomaceous earth was also carefully applied around the elbow joint. The necessary analysis to determine whether this is really the case still needs to be carried out. As with the three-fingered hands of the mummy Mariah, we are also dealing with five phalanges per finger. We now see the fingertips of the hand, on which you can clearly see fingerprints. We haven't been able to find them on the small mummies yet, but here they can be seen clearly. Contrary to initial claims by ufologists, the fingerprints are certainly similar to those of humans and they probably serve the same purpose, namely that of a fine, sensitive sense of touch. On the screen we see the last phalanx with a nail, which was then measured and the result was a length of 18 mm. The penultimate phalanx can also be seen the maximum length of which is 22 mm. Later, analysis of the samples reveals the presence of mainly gold, silver and copper, which is not unusual as these metals had been used in metalworking by ancient coastal cultures since a period around the birth of Christ. So there you go. There is the uh, study that is being done on this new body recovered by a tomb robber, apparently. And uh, here is the team of doctors that uh, is studying this, this specimen. I can't wait to see what they find, what their ultimate determinations are. Um, are they going to present their findings to the UFO, uh, the Mexican UFO hearing that's uh, soon going to happen? 
uh, it seems like we will probably get more about the um, the tridactyl mummies uh, at the next UFO hearing in Mexico. At first, there was a lot of pushback against those bodies, and hey, I was one of them. <laughs> I totally bought uh, the debunking video, so I, I totally get that. Uh, but I wonder if in the next hearing, they're going to double down on these bodies. I think this is critically important. This could be the silver bullet as far as UFO disclosure goes. It really could. Uh, if more eyes get on this, if this research uh, becomes verified and confirmed and accepted uh, in a more mainstream scientific way, especially if it goes uh, into, you know, uh, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, this sounds bad, but obviously a lot of us would be more comfortable if somebody like Gary Nolan uh, or Abby Loeb were studying this. And, you know, if more of a mainstream uh, Western or American uh, science were on this. Uh, but we have really good doctors uh, on this right now, south of the border. I believe one of the doctors that studied it originally uh, and that presented his findings at the first Mexican UFO, UFO hearing was like a lieutenant colonel. Uh, we had the director of the hospital himself overseeing the CAT scan of uh, that one specimen, determining that it was indeed one large or one intact specimen, not a cobbled together doll built from various human body parts and other body parts. So, um, you know, the evidence is very strong, I think, uh, that these are non-human bodies. That seems to be what we're looking at, guys. Um, they've got scaly skin. Some of them have eggs. Uh, the, the bodies don't make a lot of sense. They, you know, based on what we're seeing, they don't seem to be articulated very well. We don't know if they could walk or, or do things. Maybe they could. Maybe we just haven't reconstructed them properly or, or you know, analyzing them properly. Um, but, uh, but yeah, they have different, some of their bones have different densities, which is weird. Uh, it almost seems like sometimes they may have replaced bones with other bones with you know, within their own lifetime. And, uh, when they needed to, they would put an implant in, uh, you know, the one mummy had a wound from a large cat, maybe a jaguar or a bobcat or something like that that uh, that inflicted a, a serious wound on the sternum of one. I believe that was uh, one of the females that had eggs. And uh, there was a metal implant that was put on her sternum uh, to, you know, um, as, as, a, as, a, as a measure to help her bones. So really, really interesting how they seem to have put on implants, how they may have swapped out bones, uh, giving them different densities potentially. Uh, you know, it's, yeah, it's early days yet. We don't really even know what we're dealing with here, but it's fascinating. Uh, this needs to become accepted by the mainstream scientific community in order for this to be really accepted and to, you know, permeate throughout the, the, the public sphere and the public consciousness. But yeah, guys, I mean, we could be looking at UFO disclosure with these bodies. So I, I hope to hear a lot more about them at the UFO, uh, at the next UFO Mexican hearing coming up very shortly. So I'm very excited about, uh, about that. Uh, let me know what you think about this specimen and about the bodies in general and about what you think should be presented at the me next Mexican UFO hearing. So yeah, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. I sure appreciate it. Smash the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos. You don't want to miss a thing. Join me on social media. There's Facebook and Twitter links below. I would love to see you guys there. If you wanted to support Cosmic Road in an even bigger way, you can grab a t-shirt or you could become a channel member see the first link in the description below channel members are rock stars and i really appreciate you guys support thank you meanwhile there's plenty of other videos to check out on the channel and i'll see you guys next time this is jack with cosmic road signing out